this next story, we didn't expect to have such a somber ending. Shirley Meager, I met her several years ago. I was just taken by her attitude and just her inspirational way of going out every morning for a walk and collecting money for St. Jude. She'd just find money on the ground and she'd give it to the telethon every year. And this year she kept doing that even into her 100th year. It was just always great to meet up with her, catch up and hear what she'd be doing. And not too long ago, while she was out doing what she loved to do, she got hit by a car and passed away. And we present this next story to you as a tribute to a remarkable woman. Step after step, day after day, Shirley Meager walked. She walked for exercise, and she walked for St. Jude. On her daily stroll, she'd search for coins, which she collected for the annual telethon for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Over the years, she raised thousands of dollars, and the daily coin search continued into this year, even as Shirley Meager pushed past her 100th birthday. I walk because I think it's good for me, and I enjoy it, and the picking up pennies is just a bonus. Walking had been a part of Shirley's life since childhood. I grew up in the Depression, and by golly, we walked. <laughs> I lived a block from Troy High School, and uh, we walked downtown, walked to the library, walked everywhere. After graduating from Peoria High, Shirley got married and raised five children. Divorced at age 44, she took a new route. She went to college, then taught kindergarten for 17 years. Her path took other detours. Longevity runs in her family. Several relatives lived well into their 90s and beyond. We have genes that don't want to get quit. Over all her decades, she kept on walking. 12 years ago, at just 88 years old, she moved into the Bueller home in Peoria. She mapped out a new route of about one and a half miles round trip. To tag along, you might have had trouble keeping up with her. We're following you, I don't know which way to turn. We're going this way or this way? This way. This way, okay. She bustled along, over drive pavement, or even grass soaked in dew. Are your feet getting wet? Mine are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Along the way, she'd sometimes say the rosary or admire flowers. Look how pretty they are. At least I think they are. <laughs> but she couldn't stand litter. She couldn't pick up all of it, but she did what she could. Meantime, she'd keep her eyes peeled for treasure, lost coins. Some days, she'd find just a penny or two. Other days, she'd pick up nickels, dimes, or quarters. Her biggest haul, a $5 bill. It all added up in a jar at Bueller home. Plus, residents there and elsewhere knew about her daily search for coins. So, they donate to her jar as well. How much in a year do you uh, come up with? Oh, six, seven hundred dollars, somehow or other. Ah, another penny. I mean, it isn't the only charity I like or even contribute to, but it's the only one I really walk for. <laughs> Each weekday walk ended at the 7 a.m. Mass at St. Philomena Church, but she didn't get there August 11. As rain fell during her morning walk, she tried to cross University Street, but was struck by a car, likely dying instantly. We're going to miss Shirley Meager, she was an inspiration to the end, still making central Illinois a better place at age 100.